Hi friends, welcome to the Silver Star Forest. My name is Kristen and I am the Witch of Silver Star Forest. And I'm so glad that you have joined me for my little witchy haul. I am featuring a few Etsy shops as well as a website for some really great witchy things. I love to support small businesses and I had the opportunity to kind of pay it forward, if you will. So I picked a few shops. The first one I'm going to feature is Luna Moth Creations. And you may know her YouTube channel, you, Luna Moth Creations, Lisa, and I'm really excited to show you what I got from her shop. I'm going to put all the links down below in the description as well as on the screen here so you can easily find them. The first thing I got from her are apothecary labels. These are so amazing. Not only are they really cute, but she's included so much information on these. I got the big set and they have the herb name. It has what they're for, the um, gender, plant, and and the element on these and I have so many herbs and I have been meaning to create my own labels to do something similar to this but I haven't done it so all my herbs are just kind of all over the place now I feel like I need to have better jars because these are so awesome um Oh my gosh, did she alphabetize these? These are alphabetized. Um, so they say Luna Moth, Apothecary. We got basil, bay leaf, benzoin, which is a resin. Um, but there are tons of things on here. That's the other thing that I love about these. I don't even remember. Let's go into three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pages of herbs and um, resin and plants, flowers. So just about anything you can come up with, she's already included in these and I am so excited. I'm gonna have to find some super cool jars for these to go on, but I'm gonna be so organized. You can also get smaller, um, smaller kits of those. So you don't have to buy all those stickers. You can get smaller pieces of them. And then she does tarot bags. And I got a few of these. They are still in their original boxes and I just kind of have them stacked up. But I've been looking for cute bags for them to go in. This is the first one. It's nothing but a phase. This is a little canvas one. I think this is copper or rose gold lettering. Super cute. And then this one. Charged AF and a cool hollow with again canvasy bag. And then another larger one. Manifest that shit. 
these are just, I, I love the, the attitude of these. And then she has planner stickers in her shop as well. It's super cute. We've got ritual bath, incense, clearing, triple moon, cleanser space, um, tarot reading, book of shadows, candle magic, moon water. So little reminders of things that witches need to keep track of or plan. <laughs> I love the inclusive skin colors on here and just fun little graphics. So I am super excited to put these to work. Thank you so much, Lisa. Again, I'll have the links for her shop down below. Next, not to be confused with Luna Moth, we have Luna Dolce Creations. And I saw her post something on Instagram, which took me to her shop on Etsy. We have this is a little extra. We have her business card. And little stickers. I think that's amethyst, pretty sure. But I really like the cut on that. And then we have these little bitty incense sticks. They smell really good. They're so cute. And a handwritten note, which I think is such a nice touch. I don't ever, I shop on Etsy a lot, both for uh, products for my Etsy shop, not products, uh, supplies to make things for my Etsy shop and um, things like this all the time. I never expect free gifts, but they're always such a fun touch. We have the, oh, that's, I didn't notice that before. A little sun charm on the bag. And Cadden Crafted by T, who is the owner of Luna Dolce Creations. When you see this, Bassam. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it has a little key hanging on here, but I thought this was so cute. She has several Bessums in um, similar um, stylings. I think there's an owl and maybe a wolf and some other things, but that's so cool. I think it's maybe resin and they have crystals in the top. I think these were just um, Swarovski or are Swarovski crystals, but um, each one has different ones. So I fell in love with this. I'm a kitty witch and doggy witch, you know. That's so, so cute. So much thanks to T for this beautiful, beautiful item. And I'll freeze. Next, I have something from Claire Ballman and I will put her 
shop again linked below I was looking for a local shop for me I'm aware of some local Etsy shops that have with witch witchy things in them for um for basic stuff but I really was looking for something unique and I think this is really unique so you message Claire with your birth date and birth time and she paints especially for you the phase that the moon was in when you were born and I thought that was such a cool unique idea and I've been learning more and more about the uh, phases of the moon and the influence on us and I thought this would be a really neat piece mm -hmm. to have it at my altar and just kind of remind me of the influences of the moon. It does take a little while because she hand paints it just for you when you order, but I think it's really worth the wait. Such a cool, unique um, piece to have as part of your collection. Lastly, I have a purchase from Wolf and Time. So I think a lot of people are really familiar with the Wolf and Time subscription box, but Kat also has a shop where you can buy other things that haven't been in boxes before, although I think some of these probably have. But I missed out on the box that this artwork was featured in, and I just loved it. I have actually lost three black cats um, since moving to the Silver Star Forest and I thought this was going to be a beautiful way to um, memorialize them a little bit more. Her art is so cute and so precious. I had to add this to my collection I also ordered a, I hope I can show this to you all, <laughs> a stamp. So I have been loving doing wax stamps on my Etsy packages and cards and stuff that I send out. And this little kitty one, that Kat has in her shop was really cute and I hadn't seen it anywhere before. So I got that and it did come with a copper wax melting stick with a wick in a little bag. I also love Moonstone and she had what I thought was a really unique necklace. This is a nice big piece of moonstone and it's I just really like the teardrop shape of it and you can really wear it with just about anything. The price was really good. The length is really good and it just has a really nice uh, feel to it and energy to it. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then last but not least is a Trichotera cauldron. It's got the symbol on both sides and it has a lid. I have a cauldron but it's pretty teeny and it didn't come with a lid and I've been looking for a little bit bigger one and when I saw she had this one in her shop and priced pretty close to what I paid for the little one, I just had to jump on it. So that's it from the Wolf and Time 
shop a good variety of things but not too many things she also has a lot of handcrafted items on there as well she makes some really nice um personally um inspired things on there as well and I just absolutely love them. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found on Etsy and the Wolf and Time website. If you do go shopping from any of those, I don't have any referral co codes except maybe Wolf and Time. I'll put it down below. But just mention that you saw my video and that's why you were shopping there. I would love to see how the goodness spreads. I had so much fun sharing this with you. I hope you had a good time as well. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.